Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mongoolie Show. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Spectral Emporium event. It's a little bit tricky, so we might not get all the way down to the bottom, but we're going to do our best. Hey, one second. Uh, Scopely actually screwed up the um, math on this. There was supposed to be a 5 to 1 for the spending power cores, not 1 to 1, so that's going to change the math pretty drastically. So they decided to give us 25,000 milestone points for this event. So that's great. Let's go check out the math now. Uh, okay, uh, let me redo all the charts and... Um, yeah, this is this is a good thing, right? Like this is a this is a good thing. This will help us get down even lower. The event just got easier. Fantastic. Hey, me again. Um, Scopely actually screwed up the wording on the compensation, so people thought they were getting ebony treats. So people complained when they got free milestone energy. So now we're getting ebony treats as well. So we're getting twenty five thousand milestone points and twenty five thousand ebony mile points. So I have to do the math again. Let's get back to the video. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. I love this. Roll the stupid video. I love this game. I love this game. I love. This game. All right. So the special important event actually started on Tuesday. So I do apologize for this being late. It's been a rough week, but because I didn't put it out right away, we actually get to talk about what's actually going on, which is that we're going to get fifty thousand free points towards this milestone, which means you don't have to do anything. They basically just gave this event to you. Like you're gonna get milestone 13 for doing literal nothing once you get that compensation from the store, which is bananas. So, okay, cool, event over, yay, we're done. But since we know we're gonna play this event anyways, and we might as well try and get as low as we possibly can, get a bunch of these augmented, get all the Kestrel and rescue shards that we possibly can, we're still gonna go over the math and I'll tell you how you can maximize this event at least as much as we're willing to do. 140 for milestone 20 is a bit of a pipe dream unless you're willing to spend some money, but we can talk about 19, which is pretty good for free to play. So how you're going to do this event, you probably already know because you've probably been playing it, is by doing campaign missions to earn ebony treats. Now, if we take a look, we can see that it actually pays out a little bit. I, I did the math as if it paid off at 3.1, but if we take a look, it's actually 3.1666 repeater. It's going to change the math a, a fraction of a little bit, but for the sake of what I'm doing, I just could it as 3.1. So there's that. Now, they did change the spending power cores, so it actually says the right amount down here at the bottom. So between the fact that they gave us the compensation and they did bump it up to that, this event gets really easy. So for every 50 power cores you spend, you're going to get 250 points towards the milestone, and that's fantastic. It is worth noting that the ebony treats that you're going to get are a currency, and you need to spend them to get the points. If you do not spend them, you will not get the points. And also, what are you doing if you're not spending them? Because there's good stuff in that store that you absolutely want, including some character shards from some pretty decent characters. Now, there's some crap in there, too, that you don't want. That's fair. But you should be able to get some decent stuff from this event. And as long as you spend all of your power, uh, all of your ebony treats, you'll get a good reward on this event. There is also a web event going on right now where you have to do seven raids a day, which is super simple. And if you do, you're going to get 2,000 ebony treats every single day. That's fantastic and will definitely help us out for the math. And you're going to be raiding anyway, so you don't have to do anything different. You're just going to get the free rewards as long as you go to the website. So if we get 1,100 free energy every single day, times that by six days, times that by the 3.1 that we're going to be receiving. I, I know it's actually a little higher than that, but bear with me. That's going to be 20,460 points every single day. Sorry, no, by the end of the week. You've also got your web rewards, which are 2,000 points every day for six days for 12,000 points. You've got the compensation milestone, which is 25,000, and you've got the compensation currency, which is another 25,000 as long as you actually spend it all. The daily gift, they broke into two different parts. You get 300 ebony treats as well as 500 milestone points. If you get that every sale day for six days, that's 4,800 points towards the event. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can core. Now, normally I tell you to do about 200 cores per um, per event. So that's the math I did here. But you're going to notice it's kind of unnecessary. If all you care about is the free event item, you're going to get that without spending a single power core. You're actually going to go lower on the milestones than that without spending a single power core. So I've got this at about between cores and the energy from those cores. So assuming you spend those cores to refresh uh, campaign nodes to get more ebony treats, that's going to be about 15,000 points. If we take 15,000 points away from this, you can see so we're still going to hit milestone 17, which will give us all of the Kestrel, all the Rescue, all of the Cat Head Amulets, the Chaos Claws, like everything in that category that we care about, and a lot of augmented gear as well. 
So if you want to go lower, you can spend 200 power cores a day, again, on campaign energy, and that'll get you milestone 18. If you want to work your way down to milestone 19, it's going to take another 200 power cores. So 400 power cores daily, all of that on campaign energy, and that'll get you to the milestone 19 at 112,000 points. It'll give you a lot of augmented gear, and it is worth pushing towards if that's something you're interested in, if you're looking to, if you've got the power cores to spend, essentially. Getting down to 140,000, I didn't even do the math on it. It's a long way away. It's going to require spending some money unless you've got a huge power core reserve just waiting around, in which case, grats. Like, Darkhawk came out today. Might as well go get them with your power cores. That'd be awesome and not a bad way to max out this event. This event is really, really easy, guys. They gave us all the power we need to do this, all of this free stuff. And that's the next thing I kind of want to talk about really briefly. Now, I don't have the chart that I had originally made. I wrote over it, so I can't go back. But originally, this event, without the 50,000 free points that they gave us, as well as without the five times multiplier for the spending power cores, was looking really tough. Like, I was honestly looking at this like, I think they got the math wrong on this. And I, I mean, I guess they did. But it was one of those things where I'm like, I, like, usually it's really easy to get the milestone event at very least, like the, the chaos clause or whatever it is, the month long event. And it was looking rough, like, like not impossible, but just like, huh, this is going to be tougher than it normally is. And to get those last rescue and Kestrel shards, which admittedly I don't need and probably a lot of you don't need either, just brutal. So for the people who actually need the rescue and the Kestrel shards, very tough for them to get down that far. So when they said, oh, hey, we messed up, we're going to give you, there was supposed to be a five times multiplier, so we're going to give you 25,000 currency. That is the original wording, was currency. Now they did change it now to say power cores or sorry, to say milestone points, but originally it did say currency, and so I'm one of those people who thought we were getting ebony treats. But when they gave us 25,000 points for the milestone, I didn't go, oh crap, I need to complain and make a huge fuss. I just went, okay, it's it's kind of the end result anyways. I'm still getting 5,000, sorry, 25,000 points towards this milestone. It's still gonna make getting the milestones easier, and I'm still gonna get the same amount of points that I thought I was gonna get 10 minutes ago towards buying stuff in the store. So I didn't really care all that much. For those of you that did care and did reach out to Scopely and like complained and got all of us this extra 25,000 ebony treats, thank you. Like it's appreciated. I do like getting that extra compensation. Getting the extra 50,000 points on this event just took this event super easy. So thanks. I don't know. I'm kind of torn though because like a part of me is just like, there's a really old joke, or at least I remember hearing it back in like public school. What's better than winning a gold medal at the Paralympics? What? Walking. <laughs> What's better than getting compensation for your compensation? Playing a game that just works. I like getting the extra points. I like getting the free stuff. I like getting free stuff whenever the game goes down for updates. I like the fact that they screw up and give us 200 Sylvie shards and they didn't mean to. But what if they didn't? What if they actually just took the time and made the game properly and actually built it from the ground up in a way where it just worked? Wouldn't that be nice? When an event came out and you didn't have to worry about whether or not you were gonna get the thing you thought you were gonna get, you just could look at it and be like, oh, I know how this is gonna work. I understand what I'm supposed to do and you could just go and do it. And there was never that question of like, did they do the math right? Is there gonna be a bug? What's going on? I don't spend a whole lot of money on this game, but I know that there are people who do. I know there's a lot of free to play people too, but I know there's people who spend money on it like myself, people who spend a lot of money on this game, people who spend way too much money on this game. This company makes good money. I didn't go to the summit, but just seeing the behind the scenes photos of some of that place, it's a nice building. This is not like three people in a slummy apartment. This is a big, big company. They just sold this game for a ridiculous amount of money. I don't have it off the top of my head, but it was, it was a lot. Do better guys. Don't get me wrong. I like the free stuff, but do better. We deserve a better game. We deserve a better experience. We've got one of the best gaming communities I've ever been a part of. I the 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 way like I just started Twitch and going into Twitch and finding like watching other content creators is fun. But looking at the community and noticing the same people in everybody's chat and everybody just gets along for the most part is amazing. You've got one of the best communities out there. You've got the best IP in my humble opinion out there. Make a game that lives up to it. Please, please. All right, everybody, if you wanna come follow me at Twitch, I'm gonna leave a link down in the comments below. Come check that out. I stream a couple of times a week. It's a little random at the moment. I'll, I'll get a schedule figured out at some point. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you're willing, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be amazing. If you can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, good luck to you.